Hey up everybody, uh, I'm on the next part of my water tender tank that I'm building. Uh, in, in the previous part you'll have seen where I cut the brass sheet out for the sole plate, two sides, a back and a front. The actual top of the tank I'll be doing that probably, probably near the end, that'll be one of my last jobs. So I've not got them cut yet. So uh, yeah, there's there's a few ways that this could be approached. I think uh, it's first time I've ever done one, uh, done a water tender. That is, I've made my tanks for my loco in the past. But yeah, there's there's a few ways this could be done. So you know, uh, I'm playing it by ear at the moment. So I'll move over to workbench and we'll have a look at uh, how I'm going to approach it. Right, let's have a look at this then. Uh, I suppose for the eagle, eagle eyed of you all out there, you'll notice that that colour's different to the sides. That's because I'm using copper for the sole plate. I have got a piece of brass, but I thought I'd save that for the top. And this piece of copper that I had spare from another job, um, I'm going to use that for the sole plate. Because once the sides are on, and the front and the back, you're not going to see much of that anyway. Plus, it'll be painted anyway, so that it's irrelevant really. So that's uh, same gauge copper as the sides. Right. So let's have a quick look at this sweet pea right up for the tender. Um, and what I've noticed from the the sweet pea book, the right up for the tank and the um, description and the instructions is pretty much similar to the book that's the whole way through the book it's got a little bit limited information in places it assumes that you've got the ability I think to uh, apply a bit of common sense and a bit of previous knowledge to, to fill in the gaps shall I say and the tender's no different. So it tells you you can either make the tender in a couple of ways in the book. That's by bending a piece of brass for the back and the sides all in one piece or doing it in separate pieces like I'm doing. So that's the real time taking and then you solder it all up. Let's just have a quick look at this. That's the actual side view of the tank and as you can see it's like a, it's just a box and then inside that box you've got a slope in front and the top where the filler cap is and this slope in front you I'm going to make that so you can take it off so you can get inside the tank and do any necessary cleaning whenever it needs cleaning etc I'm not quite sure I actually read it all yet but I'm not quite sure if you don't if it tells you not to rivet that sloping bit on and leave that bit so you can get into the tank but I'm going to I'm just going to make all the top so it can be removed how it tells you then in, in the book is to uh, attach everything together using 3 8 brass angle that's on the sole plate to the sides up the sides and across the top and the front and the back etc. You rivet all the way up the sides across the bottom and across the top etc and then soft solder it all together but I'm not going to go to the trouble of riveting it uh, I'm going to do it like my tanks I'm just I'm just going to keep everything plain and uh, and then paint it probably to match my tanks on me loco I know a lot of people like to see rivets but you know it's personal preference really isn't it and uh, I, I'm not going that route anyway. The other little bit of a stumble, stumbling block is this angle. I've just had a look on Flea Bay and for a metre of this angle it's something like something ridiculous like £30 for a metre and I probably want about three or four meter which is going to come to uh, over a hundred pound just for the angle and I ain't spending uh, 
30 pound times four or five times just to do this so what I'm going to try and do is when I cut this salt plate out of this piece of copper that I had spare from another job I've got this off cut here so what I'm going to attempt to do and I've never done this before I'm going to cut some strips out off this copper and I'm going to anneal the copper and bend some angle and see what it turns out like to put on the inside so that's going to be my first job so I'll get me I'll get my workbench cleared uh, and we'll have a look at bending some copper into 3 8 angle right so just before I move on to that to copper making that angle out of some copper I thought I'd just mark this out on this side plate then you'll get an idea of the shape of the tank and then I can get an idea of the lengths that I need to of the lengths of uh, angle that I'm going to need so I'll just mark that out yeah I'm still using your uh, marking gauge Chris from Dream Steam that you, you, you kindly let me have a few months back So it's uh, four inch for the front, five and a quarter inch for the rear, and then the top portion, the flat portion where the filler cap is, comes in three and a half. Right, time for a bit of cardiovascular work. I've set my saw blade onto the angle in my hacksaw. The only trouble is with my hacksaw, to do it really I should be coming that way from right to left, but I like to work left to right so my saw's the wrong way round. So I'll be using my saw the other way.